Here's a simple way to think of this. If every blood vessel was a road that you could use to travel around the body, then the aorta and the inferior vena cava would be super highways traveling in opposite directions. Well, this new procedure temporarily connects these two super highways, allowing doctors to cross all the lanes of traffic, cross the median, and then continue up on the other side against traffic. Sounds a little dangerous and a little crazy, right? Well, that's what makes this so cool. The valve kept closing and closing, and then it closed down to 10%. That's when I really got in trouble of shortness of breath, retaining water. Hugh Lesnar's aortic valve was becoming dangerously obstructed. What did they say was going to happen if they didn't fix it? Well, they told me I had two or three days. Years ago, fixing an aortic valve meant open heart surgery, but in the past decade, a new advance called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, has emerged as a minimally invasive alternative. Really the best option for Hugh. There was a big problem, though. His vessels on both, on both sides were just simply not large enough. To place a transcatheter valve, the arteries in the groin that serve as a roadway to the damaged aortic valve need to accommodate the compressed but still big device that carries the new valve to the heart. Even if the artery is too small, like this straw for example, the veins are bigger and they would allow you to get the large device into the circulation. Of course, the problem is following the vein leads you to the wrong side of the heart. And that's where thinking outside of the box comes in. Keep in mind, this is being done from inside the body, no surgery. So if something went wrong, the patient could die quickly. When I first heard about this, I thought it was pretty much crazy talk. You and the rest of the world. The conventional wisdom was if you make a hole in the aorta, the patient is going to bleed to death quickly. Fortunately, there was existing animal research to support the idea that connecting the vessels could be done safely. So they took the leap. When we first did this procedure, in July of 2013, and word got out that we had accomplished this, people could not believe it. Here's how it works. Catheters are placed in the artery and vein in the groin. A wire is then run up the vein to a point where it's closest and safest to cross over to the aorta. At the same time, a wire with a loop, like a lasso, is placed in the aorta. When everything is lined up, the wire in the vein is electrified, allowing it to cut and burn through the wall of the vein into the aorta, where it's grabbed by the awaiting lasso in the aorta. Once this pathway is established, the necessary devices can safely pass from the vein into the artery and ultimately up into the heart. When they're done, the equipment is removed and the holes are closed from the inside with special plugs. It changed or altered the thinking about the conventional wisdom against violating the wall of the aorta or going through walls. I think they blew us off at the beginning and laughed at us and said, oh, that'll never work. Then frankly, some I think were angry that it did work. And now it is more and more accepted. Which brings us back to Hugh Lesnar. He was the landmark 100th person to undergo the procedure at Henry Ford Hospital. Oh, I felt a difference of night and day. I was, I was just, I couldn't do it. I could hardly get upstairs. I could go two steps and I had to stop. Now I can go up the stairs with no problem. It's been great, really. I, it was better night and day. They did, they were miracle workers. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. And I go to sleep at night knowing that there are people who got benefit from the valve replacement who would never have gotten their new valve had it not been for this thinking. Now this technique is gaining wider acceptance and the real breakthrough here is that it can be applied to other problems. Now that they've introduced the possibility of crossing into adjacent vessels or from veins to arteries, it opens up countless other possibilities in other parts of the body as well. Back to you.